Hi, I'm Marta Benavides. It's time for Social Life. Coming up, a life-saving campaign. We're marking National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Our special guest with South Texas Health System will join us to share what we can all do to help prevent from getting this disease. An organization with a mission to end cancer. We're spreading awareness and support with the American Cancer Society. Plus, Kay is back and she's getting us ready for fall. It's all next on Social Life, right after this. Support. Some call it the foundation of success. Joining the V Club assists in the success of our student athletes. Preparing our student athletes for excellence in life. You're so ready to escape. It's time to get reintroduced to So Padre. Start planning and dreaming of your tropical island getaway. We're so ready to welcome you back. We are working every day to keep you safe and happy. We'll see you soon on South Padre Island. Marta, if you walk through the galleries of the Museum of South Texas History up in the in the River Frontier Gallery, you see that there's a quote by the Spanish explorer Cabeza de Vaca, who walked through here in the 1520s and 1530s. And so when he got back to Spain, he wrote a book that he called La Relación. In La Relación, he notes that the native people from this part of the world, he said, are the most loving people with their children of any other people that I've seen anywhere in the world. Imagine that. Imagine somebody who was saying that about the people from here, saying that in the 1520s and 1530s. So this is how I make sense of it. I'm from the Valley. And the one like absolute truth that I know about people from the Valley is that they love their children, they love their families, and it is our source of strength. So it doesn't matter what problems we may have in life, you know, pandemic or otherwise, if we just remember what is special and what is most true, what is rich about us, you know, that we love each other, I think that we'll come out of it on the other side in a good, strong way. So that that's what I want to share with you about how when people come to the museum, they can actually reflect in those kinds of ways, see themselves and see the beauty and who they are historically and in the present. This is who we are. Thank you so much, Dr. Guajardo, for that uplifting message. Now to a message we hope will reach all the beautiful women across the valley. This as we mark National Breast Cancer Awareness Month, a time that we use to remind all those special people in our life about the importance of early detection. I want to welcome our special guests today with South Texas Health System, Ms. Jessica Munguia and Mr. Charlie Aguirre. Ms. Munguia, you are the uh, mammography technologist, the leading mammography technologist, and you, Mr. Aguirre, are the interim radiology director. Thank you so much for joining us today. We have a lot of exciting things to talk about as we as we mark uh, National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Beginning with you, Ms. Munguia, uh, I want to talk about uh, the way that we screen for breast cancer, it has changed and, and, and it has improved. How? Mammography is uh, the gold standard for detection of breast cancer and, and that continues to, to stay um, uh, as priority. Um, so we now offer uh, 3D uh, digital mammography at our South Texas Health System McAllen site. And uh, we do have uh, you know, three additional sites where we're offering our services to the community. Um, so, uh, you know, a breast self exams, uh, monthly breast self exams is really important um, every month. Uh, but I believe, you know, I, I think it's it, it gets talked about a lot more in October uh, because of how much, you know, the, the, the nation um, talks about breast cancer the importance about getting screened early to detect, you know, uh, early detection of breast cancer is, is a priority. 
Uh, but yes, uh, making sure that you are, you know, seeing your doctor yearly for their yearly uh, woman's health, making sure that you are, you know, uh, checking your breasts monthly with uh, through breast self-awareness, uh, you know, and then of course, scheduling your mammogram. Um, and this is actually the perfect time if you haven't already had one to make that appointment and get in and get seen. Um, because, uh, you know, early detection is always the best protection. Absolutely, Ms. Mungia. And we, we unfortunately, through this pandemic, uh, so many people are putting off those very important appointments, you know, and this is why uh, this month, as I mentioned, serves as, as somewhat of a reminder to say, you know, to tell your sisters and your, your aunts, your moms, your daughters, your friends, you know, this is a good time to 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 do something, uh, to take care of ourselves and each other. Um, Mr. Aguirre, I know that you're leading the radiology uh, department there at South Texas Health System. You guys are doing something very special uh, on this month, um, and I want you to share it with our audience. Yes, Marta, first and foremost, thank you again on this platform, Social Life, you know, we just really thank you for this opportunity to discuss, you know, the exciting uh, event that we are actually just looking forward to opening our doors to the public, letting them know um, the importance and stressing the importance to get their screening mammograms. Um, as you mentioned, these are very different times, difficult times, and um, the community is putting off uh, these screening exams, you know, different fears, different things that maybe uh, be experiencing or concerns that they may have. But we just want to bring a heightened awareness um, to this month and to the service line that we do have at, throughout our uh, South Texas health system. As Jessica mentioned, we do have other facilities at the free standing ERs in West Laco and in Mission, along with uh, South Texas Health System Edinburgh, that offer these women services, not only women's service, but men as well, that they uh, can come to or any one of our facilities and to, to get their mammograms. I know that uh, genetic testing is something that you guys are, are, are on top of. I, I uh, understand that this is kind of a way to identify if uh, someone is at risk. Can you elaborate a little bit on, on, on that? Yes, so uh, we uh, offer genetic testing at, for, at, at the four facilities that, um, at, our, at our facilities. And so what we do is we screen our, our ladies who come in and, and documentation of their family history. Uh, the mammogram technologists will review that history with the patient and if the patient is identified as a high risk patient due to the amount of family history uh, he or she may have, uh, we do offer them this genetic test. Um, and this is a test to see if you're uh, predisposed for a hereditary gene. Uh, there are, uh, you know, 20, it's a panel of 25 genes that um, will be uh, reviewed and, and, and uh, seen to see whether you do carry a uh, predisposed hereditary gene. Um, all of our patients are screened, um, and right now we are offering uh, telegenetics. So this is actually a new service that we've started, um, where you you will have free um, access to a genetic counselor if you do get identified um, as a um, as a candidate for genetic testing. Mm -hmm. um, you will be able to get on-site um, genetic counseling. Um, and as well, um, it can be offered, uh, you can you can go ahead and, and get this, um, um, I'm sorry, it, you can, it can also be done at home, meaning we can send you the kit home um, if you don't feel comfortable coming into the facility. Um, so it's, it's a big, uh, a big change due to COVID and it, it's, it's working very well. That's wonderful. In addition to, to that and the self breast exams that you mentioned, um, you know, how often should we be encouraging our loved ones? Because this isn't just a, a condition that affects women. We know that it affects men too. Um, so how often should we be getting these types of screenings? So the screening mammograms um, are covered through our insurance as a preventative uh, service one a year. So uh, we, we do follow what the American Cancer Guidelines recommend and that is every year 40 and over 
Um, now you can start getting your screening mammograms earlier if you do have a strong family history of breast cancer. If you are a carrier of the BRCA1 and 2 gene, mm -hmm. then you can and, and should be getting your mammograms uh, before the age of 40. Let's talk and just to add to yes. that, Martha, I'm of sorry. No. Just to add to that, um, although this is um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we don't have to just seclude it to one month. You know, it's on a yearly basis. So wherever that falls for the patient, maybe if it's a new patient, let's not wait until October to come in for your screening mammograms. Get with your healthcare providers, your uh, licensed independent practitioner, consult with them, discuss options uh, imaging options that, um, we, that may be needed to further uh, detect and uh, discuss a plan of care for you should you need one. But yes, definitely not wait for just one month. Follow up with your, with your physician, your provider, and with their recommendations. Because we do know that early detection is really key to, to your chance of survival. Um, so that, yes. that is an important thing to mention. Um, let's talk about some of the risk factors. I've had um, some very special people very close to me in my life who, who said, I didn't have a family history. No one in my family had cancer. Um, I'm trying to do all the right things to take care of myself by way of diet and exercise. Um, you know, what, what, what are some of the risk factors that we need to be uh, mindful of? So, um... The most important is that we are women and because we are women, we are already at risk whether we have family history or not. Um, but uh, the type of breast tissue, if you have fibrocystic breast, you know, that is also important that, you know, you and your doctor discuss uh, the benefits of a 3D mammogram over a 2D mammogram. Uh, and again, we do offer 3D imaging at the South Texas Health System McAllen. Um, these women who have fibrocystic breasts, you know, we tend to always um, need a breast ultrasound, um, may have a history of getting a breast biopsy. So if you are in that category, then, you know, it is of urgence that you continue to get your mammograms yearly. Um, healthy eating, you know, can be a, a, um, a benefit to decrease. Um, you know, family history is obviously another um, risk. Uh, if you are a BRCA carrier, then, you know, those those factors uh, will need to uh, play a part in how often you should be going in and getting those mammograms. Um, but we do follow the American Cancer Society guidelines and we will recommend yearly mammograms and, and suggest that you follow. Absolutely, we've made so much progress. Uh, it, it truly is is amazing. Uh, Mr. Aguirre, would you be so kind to share what you all are doing uh, this month, actually in just a few days, to kind of get everybody to come together? Yes, absolutely. First and foremost, I, have a, I guess highlighting the what the hospital is doing for patient safety, the patients that are coming in. Uh, first and foremost, we have screeners at the entrances of the facility, so they're doing temperature checks. They're asking uh, questions that uh, for symptoms that the patients may have because we want to take care of the hospital employee as well as the patient as well. So any symptoms that they may be feeling, we just, we encourage them to maybe reschedule their appointment, but uh, so they'll be greeted by screeners at our facility and once those checks are performed, the uh, patient is uh, escorted into our facility and into our registration um, department where we'll proceed with the patient and processing. But we are new, we have hand sanitizing stations throughout the facility within the mammography department. Um, along those lines, we also social distancing our waiting rooms to um, respect and honor the patient's uh, uh, you know, just to be mindful of that. So we have designated areas for the seating. If the mammography um, uh, waiting room becomes too full, we have the outpatient waiting room where the patients can wait their turn to be to be addressed and to be assisted with their exam. So many things that we're doing to be mindful 
of the patient and their safety because you know they are coming into the unknown like i said and if we can just bring them that peace of mind of what we're doing as a facility and as a whole for their best interest apart from the screening mammograms that we're offering um, I, I i think that'll encourage them and i hope that'll encourage them to come on and, and visit our facilities for the exams Anybody encouraged, because I, I know um, I want to talk about the cost uh, for that service, but this event is happening Saturday? We are. Thank you so much. Wow. We are having a carno, uh, parade, I'm sorry, uh, Breast Care Awareness Parade. Pink on Parade is what we're uh, titling this parade, and we're so excited. It's going to be happening October 3rd, and it's going to be from 10 to 11.30. We're gonna be distributing goodie bags. We're gonna have a DJ out there in the parking lot. We're gonna have a car decorating contest. We're gonna have first, second, and third uh, prize trophies to um, deliver to uh, those participants. And so it's really exciting. It's, you know, it's, this event is more to highlight the awareness and we'd love for uh, people to even we have the opportunity for registration at that same event so to get their screening mammograms already scheduled uh, apart from the goodie bags that we'll be distributing again the idea is to encourage everyone um, yes, to, to make sure that we stay on top of on top of our health um, let's talk about the cost associated with say telegenetics or, or breast cancer uh, mammography screenings. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so just the, uh, for the breast imaging, so that is covered by the insurance of screening mammogram. And for those that uh, we do also offer cash prices for the 3D mammogram and the 2D. So we have very favorable cash prices for the patient, the uninsured or the insured. So we have many programs to help assist the community when it comes to costs for these screening mammograms. I wanna thank you both so much for coming on and educating us more on, on what you and your family there at South Texas Health System, what all of y'all are doing um, to help take care of us. And, and with that, I would love to toast to, yes. to everyone if you all would be so <laughs> kind, yes, let's toast. Cheers to everybody taking that first step um, yes. to, to getting those necessary screenings um, and making sure we encourage those we love to schedule them either there with you guys at the, you know, just with their doctor. You know, that's the most important thing is just to get those screenings. We thank you for the work that you're doing and salud, salud, salud. to that. Thank you, Martha. Thank you, Martha. Thank you, Ms. Martha. Thank Remember you. that cancer doesn't stop with COVID. <laughs> that, that is right. And you know what? I'm glad you said that because coming up, Ms. Draguirre and Ms. Monguia, we have the American <laughs> Cancer Society with us to talk oh. more about how we're spreading awareness and educating and offering support. We're going to be right back with that conversation. Don't go away. We give 100%. We do whatever it takes. We sweat the small stuff. Every day, every hour, for 20 years. To ensure that every child and every community we serve has a chance to succeed, compete, thrive. This is just the beginning. Why choose Lone Star National Bank for your business? Because no other bank does more to support local businesses. In fact, we are the number one lender in the Valley to small businesses. We put money to work here in our community. That helps our local businesses grow. Creating more jobs. And more opportunities for all of us. Working together. Together. We do what the little banks can't and the big banks won't. Lone Star National Bank, the Valley's bank. At North Park Lexus RGV, we embrace posted pricing. It's our approach to transparent pricing and making what the car buying experience is supposed to be fun. We value the guest experience. Whether you're looking at a brand new Lexus or a pre-owned vehicle, we invite you out to see what it's all about. Visit us in person or online at NPLexusRGV.com. Come see what posted pricing is all about. September marks Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and today we begin our efforts 
to spread awareness about breast cancer. But the effort is ongoing and year-round for the American Cancer Society. And today, we welcome Ms. Nancy Garza. She is the Community Manager for ACS. I want to thank you for joining us, Ms. Garza. Thank you for having me today. Thank uh, you. It's so wonderful to have you. you. You service and support so many families here in our region. What do you want our audience to know about what it is you do and how you support beyond education and how you support um, our large family here in the Valley? Well, here in our, um, in our local area and actually throughout the United States as well, um, we do try to do, we do fundraising to help the community. And actually in October, it's a very important month for us. It's for breast cancer, um, education, research, and for patients. Um, we try to make sure that they have somewhere where they can get information for for when they get their first diagnosis and go through treatment and for all their families by going into our cancer.org website or also calling our 1-800 number. There's um, someone that's always going to pick up the phone 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And um, just to also educate here in the area that they need to make sure they do all kinds of um, try to get early detection and take care of themselves. Of course. Um, mm -hmm. I know that COVID-19 uh, has presented some challenges, but your efforts continue. Mm -hmm. you, you, you all are mm -hmm. unstoppable, Ms. Garza. With COVID-19, it has um, been a real struggle for our uh, fundraising efforts because our fundraising efforts were always in-person events and getting uh, trying to get into this new um, normal as we call it <laughs> it's it's been a little bit difficult to try to get people to uh, participate in virtual events and continue to support us and uh, do fundraising for us we do have a, a special event coming up for October which is our second year partner with Mission Regional Medical Center, and it's the Mission Pink Making Strides Against Breast Cancer event. Um, we are going to make sure we highlight uh, sponsors, highlight survivor stories, and uh, what the American Cancer Society mission is um, throughout the month of October. How do we participate um, virtually? How can we be a part of it and, and support this mission and, and those you serve? Well, being a part of it, um, a lot of people have asked, what is a virtual event? Um, and people kind of don't understand what a virtual walk or a 5K can be. So just to make it a little bit easier, it's something that they can participate in and in their home, they can walk in their home, walk around their neighborhood, go to a local park. But uh, we are actually going to be also highlighting four different trails um, throughout the month of October, um, starting with, uh, we have the, in the city of Mission, we have the uh, Mission Hike and Bike Trail. In McAllen, we have the McAllen Hike and Bike Trail. In uh, Westlake, we're gonna have the Harlan Block uh, sports complex and in Har Harlingen it's uh, McKelvey Park and we're actually going to put up signs so that that way hopefully people will be uh, a little bit more um, wanting to go out and go into those areas of course everything always following social distancing guidelines and making sure that you're with somebody from your household or somebody that you know you know you've you spent time with and everything and um, you can go do the the walk or the 5k uh, during, uh, actually we're giving it practically the whole month of October for you to do it. We're doing from October 10th through the 31st and you can do it at any time. So you can make those plans with, you know, someone you want to go do that walk with, you know, challenge a friend, challenge, um, a coworker, let's go do this and, and do, do it for a cause, go out for, um, the community because all those, all that fundraising stays here in our community. We will be putting up signage out there also where they can do photo op opportunities. You know, they can print out the bib from our website that they register on and they can, you know, say why, who they walk for, what are they doing this for? You know, is it for a family member? Is it just for, you know, just for um, everyone and the community? 
and they can put that bib, they can take a bib pic, and that's what we're calling it. We're trying to use hashtags. That way we can make sure that we let all social media know that uh, we're out there and we've got great support. They can do their hashtag bib, bib pic or their hashtag uh, um, mission pink virtual or also their hashtag MSABC RGB. Wonderful. So, Mm -hmm. to, to just show to make it a little bit more fun <laughs> absolutely and to show that you were a part of something uh very meaningful um you mentioned miss garza october the 10th through october the 31st from mission to harlingen you have this opportunity to be a part of this very very special walk uh, raising awareness and of course um you know the idea is is to make sure that everybody knows that um, you know, we're here to support each other, that you're not alone. Where where can we call and, and, and offer more support by way of a monetary donation? Um, how can we offer more support to ACS? Um, you can always um, go into the cancer.org okay. and you can make a donation there. Uh, if you want to support our event, um, you would go into our um, Making Strides makingstrideswalk.org okay. forward slash RGB, uh, Rio Grande TX, sorry about that. I'm getting all these confused. But um, yeah, Rio Grande TX. Um, that's also our website. Um, also, you're more than welcome to give me a call um, and uh, you can call my phone number 956-566-6710 to get more information as well. Ms. Garza, thank you so much. We hope that our audience will respond and be a part of this very important and special walk. And thank you to the American Cancer Society for the, uh, for the work that you do. We know that it's, uh, it's an ongoing year round, 365 mm -hmm. day effort. Um, and we appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And coming up, are you ready for fall? Well, Ms. K is ready to help get us ready for the season. You'll see next. There is a place where the Republic lives on. It's in our unique Southwest cuisine, in our drinks, and our live entertainment. Come enjoy our historic ambiance and inviting staff where the legacy of the Republic lives on. Join the revolution at the Republic of the Rio Grande. Here we are with a little more formal table, table setting. We used our basic tablescape from our first introduction, which is, was a little bit more simple. We've added some additional uh, garlands and we've added some fresh vegetables. We have squash and pomegranates. We have a beautiful glittered pine cone. We have gorgeous squash and this beautiful, big, oversized gold pine cone that is perfect. This could go right on into your Christmas dinner. Martha, thank you for having us. It's been so much fun. Come shop at OK's. We love helping you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, Miss Kay, you make everything look so easy. I wish I had your gift. We want to thank our special guests today and especially you for joining in on the conversation. Until next time, we leave you with the art of socializing.